What a cloudy day today. Good morning, Vanessa. I hope you have a good day, baby. I'll be back for you later. I'm gonna go make some money for you. All right, second day of the vlog. I can tell you, the first week's always usually the hardest. Getting back to the schedule and getting back to the routine is usually the hardest part. As I get through that, I think I'll be in a better place. But we'll talk about that more later today. I need to get to work before it gets too late. But before it starts raining, it looks like it's gonna be a very cloudy day. So, let's go. I want you to think about what you I'm trying again. I'm trying to do this little conversation again. Last night I actually ordered a couple of things for my camera so that I can have my kind of like vlogging experience or vlogging setup in a way back in order like I used to. And I put a little bit of a challenge on myself. Um, let's talk about that right now. So first things first, I actually ended up cleaning really nicely last night. So I got to organize all this stuff underneath. That's going to be pretty much today's project try to figure out what is everything down there I did a good job of putting all the bolts there when I removed them from my block um, and before we do anything let's actually take out the trash because that's gonna drive me crazy all right through the power of editing that's done <laughs> before we jump into explaining my ideas for my setup going into this garage and how I plan to attack my build my drift build um, I actually want to talk about my dad's car today um, I brought it, I told him to bring it into the shop because it's having a overheating issues. And my dad uh, was a Mexican mechanic. And if you know what that means is that he tried everything. Whoa, too much brightness. Hold on, give me a second. There we go. That's a little bit better. Mexican mechanic, which means he pretty much rigged it up to the best of his abilities. And um, he's got, I believe it's like a 2006, 2006 um, Nissan. This guy right there, and it actually started overheating on him. Essentially, what went wrong is the heater core. Um, right where the driver passenger, the passenger front seat is, there's a heater core on the dash side, and we looked it up labor-wise, and it calls for like six hours, according to Mitchell, to replace that freaking um, heater core. So we were like, nah, F that. This thing has 207,000 miles. I've been letting it sit out here for like a good hour or so so that I can see if it's gonna overheat again. We essentially bypassed, it's still hot. We essentially bypassed the, um, damn, the thing is hot. <laughs> we essentially bypassed the heater core. We just connected the two lines together. Um, it's still gonna need a heater core, but it's summer in Georgia, so I don't think it's gonna need heat anytime soon. <laughs> Let's go back to the shop. Um, it's leaking from the oil from the valve cover gaskets. I think I'm gonna offer to do that myself with my brother-in-law so I can learn how to work on cars. Taking out the trash made me dirty. Work on cars and um, I'm gonna try to paint his headlights because that things are pretty nasty. You can see that. They're gonna need some love. Definitely gonna need some love. Let's see if it's been overheating. So I haven't really checked in like the past hour or so. So no, still at the same level that it should be, well that it's been at, this whole time it's been at the shop, still around. He says that that's normal, that looks a little bit low to me. All right, let's go back into my section of the garage, or shop, or whatever you wanna call it. My dad is just gonna need a new car soon. All right, so we spoke yesterday that I either wanna build a, uh, uh, my drone drift car, or I wanna get somebody else to build it. Now that I've been thinking on it more, I think I'm leaning towards 
building my own drift car. And I think that's the right thing to do, especially since I want to do YouTube and record the whole experience. Let's talk about my engine and what I plan to do now that I've had a little bit more time to think and I've came on this mission completely on my own. Right. Anyways, um, I think I'm leaning towards the, let me build my own engine. Let me figure out trial and error type of style and what, what, what it means to me to build an engine, go to the track. I think that's, you get JDM points, you get brownie points. I'm trying to have, I'll manually focus this thing because it's horrible in autofocus. But I believe I, that's how you learn. I mean, when I did the Subaru, I had a really hard time with it. I'm not going to lie. It was really annoying doing all that research and finding out all that stuff to do and finding out that how Subaru harnesses work and spending all that money. And for a while there, when I finished the Subaru, I was I was kind of over it. I'm not going to lie. I was like, I just poured so much time, effort, and money into something and was it worth it? Was it worth it? And then I drove the car and I got it to drive around, hang around with friends. And yes, yes it was. So I think I want that experience again. I want to do that with the 240s. And I think that means I have to build my own engine and hopefully learn a lot through the process of doing that. So like I said, I bought this engine from uh, Brent who's also building a 240 and also has to rebuild his SR because his piston rings gave out. So welcome to the rebuilding show. <laughs> Um, I'm going to give it a quick little 360 so you guys can see the condition of what it's in. Keep in mind, I did paint it um, because I just wanted to make it look nice, OEM Plus type of looks, what I'm going for. So let's, let me show you a little bit more. Alright, so this is my block. It's an SR. Uh, it's supposed to be a red top. Um, I have a head down here. Let me guys actually show you guys that today. Because the head is basically the whole reason why I decided to buy this SR. Let me pull it out for you guys. Beautiful, beautiful block. Heavy. All right, so the head. The head was supposedly built by Tiger Racing, and Tiger Racing, like I said, I went and talked to them because they are a known, trusted shop here in Doraville, Georgia, that build dope SRs. So let's bust this head open. So this red top is actually not that pretty. I have another one right here. This one looks a lot prettier, but it's got a broken corner over here right over here it's supposed to look like that like this one right here but it's a little bit broken right there but this one looks so much prettier than that one that one still needs a paint job <sighs> okay time for the big reveal ready set oh yeah oh yeah that's nice. That's really nice. So this head was supposedly built by Tiger Racing, the guys that I may have my engine built, but I decided not to. I decided to be done with my money and do my trial and error and try to figure out um, the build myself. So I am going to try to build it myself. Um, when I bought this, this, let me see if I have a picture of everything that's 
been done to this head. Give me one second. Okay, so I found the ad. Um, and half of these things, I don't really know what they are, so please let me know in the comment section down below if you do. Um, SR20 DET Red Todd, built by Simon at Tiger Racing a long time ago, had injectors issues and ended up with a leaky number two cylinder. Uh oh, sounds like a Subaru. <laughs> um, currently, top end is disassembled, has S14 oil pickup, which I don't have. Uh, Brent actually kept that. Um, ARP headsets, I do have those. They're right, they're right, yeah, they're right there. Um, Tomy RSA, R A, no, Tomy R A S. I don't know what that is. What is R A S? I'm a noob, don't worry. So, yeah, I know, I suck. I don't know performance parts. BC valve springs, as you guys can show, as I showed you guys, the head looks pretty. The valve springs apparently is very known for these engines to crack them, so that's why you upgrade those. And retainers. So that means that this head ideally should be good. Ideally, SRs run into a lot of head issues. So ideally, this head was built by Tiger Racing a long time ago. Um, that block over there and this one were built by Sammy a long time ago. And I kind of want to want to go with an OEM Plus look. And I kind of don't want to cheap out on this build. So it looks like it's going to be hurting my wallet. And it looks like it's going to be a long journey. But I think I want to do this one right. Granted, I still want a deadline November 14. But... I think I want to do this one right. So that being said, this this shop and me being here, um, I want to be here. Oh, my name tag print pulled off. This shop and me being being here, I want to be here an hour every day after work. I work from eight to six, so I want to be here at least an hour every single day during the week. Maybe come up on the weekends and work on this car as well, just so I can continually, constantly keep on doing research keep on doing efforts and keep this car trying to get this car on the road essentially but I've been here for about an hour I have to go turn in the car to my dad so let's get out of here I showed you guys the block I showed you guys the head um, let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys know what those parts are because I honestly don't um, I'm probably gonna have to go home and google them because I am a noob <laughs> when it comes to performance parts and my friends remind me of that all the time I'm not a mechanic I'm a service writer so I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, anyways, let's let's go deliver my dad his car and let's get out of here. We've been here for an hour, give or take. So a little bit of progress. I updated you guys what I wanted to do and little little baby steps like this every single day are gonna allow me to have this car ready by November 14th. I gotta make sure that's the date because I keep saying it. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. I'm about done. I'm tired of being in this place. I wanna still wanna get some sunlight before it gets dark and I'm gonna go eat something with that. So let's roll. Tell me where it hurts I'm trying to figure out a remedy the word Something to take from the remedy of nerves You know how it works You know how it works You didn't know it but your mama was so damn proud Your first true love, your old granddad was in the clouds but that he was never around Those voices in your head were always too damn loud You pulled through Like you always do Nothing ever did